what's popping youtube welcome back to my channel guys in today's videos you guys can see in the title your girl got attacked by a dog yeah it's it's actually way way better um so yeah today's basically gonna be a story time of how i got attacked and how your girl's confused on how she got attacked <laughs> but right now i'm gonna post pictures of the bite wound so if you get a little bit like grossed out skip this part of the video but i'm going to be showing how the wound looked like at first and then like the process throughout um the whole six days so you guys are going to see the process of how my face looked But, um, yeah, guys, so let me go ahead and get started. Let me get a chip. Mm. Okay. So, I'm going to start off by showing you guys how they look like now. So, I got 11 stitches here. Three stitches there. One stitch here. These are all, thankfully, just, like, um, like, scratch marks, I guess, from the teeth. And then, I got this one right here. And then this one penetrated in. So, it's, like closing now thankfully and basically yeah that's all that i got and so if, if the <laughs> if the pictures were too gruesome i'm so sorry but i did want to show you guys how it looked like before and um so yeah guys this was just like any other day at a grooming place that i used to go to and um i actually wasn't supposed to be there that day this happened on a tuesday this happened last no on tuesday so, um, this wasn't supposed to, I wasn't even supposed to be there. This wasn't even supposed to happen to me today, let alone any other day. But, it was just like any other day. And, I went in, I was three dogs in, to grooming, whatnot, cool, everything was chilling, I was having a good day. I had just came back from Chicago, then I took another week off, because I was, you know, under the weather and whatnot from coming back from 30, 30 degree weather in Chicago. By the way, if you guys haven't seen my Chicago video, you should watch it after this one. So, yeah, I had already been grooming three dogs. And um, out of those three dogs, I have one special client that I work with. And when I say special, I mean like the dog can have like a, can be fine one moment and not find the other and will try to bite you and whatever. But we got it done, you know, whatever. Um, I usually work with dogs that uh, do bite. Huh. They asked me if I can groom a new dog. And the new dog was a husky. It was a it was a female. She was like a, a tan color, very fluffy. And um, she was two years old. And they said, hey, Jessica, can you groom this dog? I'm like, yeah, of course. She's like, you know, we don't know anything about the dog. Uh, she's new. The only thing that the owner said was that a dog howls and cries during bath time. So I was like, okay. Like, that's normal. Like, literally, that's normal. Like, 90% of the huskies that, maybe 95% of the huskies that come in, they do that. They don't like their feet touched. They don't like getting brushed. They don't like getting wet. They don't like getting picked up. They, they don't like it. In the grooming shop, maybe outside they do. In the grooming shop, absolutely not. They hate it. They hate being in a kennel. They hate being dried the whole time. The whole entire time, they're screaming, howling. It's normal. If you haven't seen videos, I'll try to look for one and I'll post it right now. So if I did post a video, then you got to see how a husky um, would act in a grooming place. And like I said, that's how they normally act. Those are the ones that I've dealt with before. Very few are on my top list that are actually very well behaved and will sit there throughout a whole grooming process. 
but let's go back to the dog that attacked me so i said okay yeah that's fine so i go to the kennel and i approach her and i'm talking to her nicely i open the gate whatever she attempts to try and come out and then as soon as um she sees my hand she tries to kind of go for a nip right and i was like okay she's probably cage shy she's in a new environment never seen us before we're random people to her there's random dogs she's gonna her safe place is the kennel this is nothing new this happens almost every single time in a grooming shop there's some dogs that are cage shy and their cage the cage or the kennel that they're in they're like that's their safe zone why because they don't know anybody it's like dogs are barking there's machines that are turned off like they don't like it right so i was like okay that's that's not a problem the girl another girl helped me take her out perfectly fine we walked over to the bathtub we picked her up she kind of did like a little arp, like she didn't want to be picked up okay cool no not not a big deal because that's usually literally honestly this is usually what happens with with huskies i turn on the water she starts prancing again nothing nothing out of the ordinary she did not growl she did not show her teeth she did not have her ears down and was acting all like iffy and weird like nothing at all like she was just prancing back and forth and i'm like okay cool turn on the water warm started slowly with her legs moved up after maybe like less than two minutes she sat down sat down the whole entire time she was just sitting there chilling she was like moving her head back and forth whatever so after she felt that the water was warm she literally like was like chilling right so i was like okay you know still keeping an eye on her whatever you're still new i'm talking to her like it's okay baby like nothing's happening like you see it's just water it's warm water i'm sitting there talking to her the whole entire time so i'm literally scrubbing her scrubbing her back and everything like legs feet in between toes everything um oh then i put my hand out underneath her chin and i start to um scrub her face you know with my hand and some baby sh baby shampoo and the whole time she's literally like this like closing her eyes like even when i stop she's just like like chilling like like kid you not like chilling when i tell you that this dog was so well behaved that she was on my top list of behaved huskies i was like did i get the right dog is this the dog that the owner said that she screams and howls when she bathes her i was like Cause this this dog is not doing that this dog's not even acting up she's not trying to get out the tub she's not trying to do nothing like <laughs> i don't i don't know we like what's wrong with this dog right so i'm sitting there i'm just talking to her and i'm like you know scrubbing her face whatever she has her eyes closed and i'm just scrubbing her scrubbing her scrubbing her and um there was a moment where i let her she looked up at me and she licked my face boom she licked my face twice as, she, as I was scrubbing her and I'm sitting there talking to her whatever and I let the soap sit for like maybe like five ten minutes or whatever because she was really dirty like really really dirty like she was like a, a light cream color but she was like coming in looking gray she was really dirty and the soap was all like like grayish and everything and um you know she sat down there and I was just petting her still scrubbing her brushing her trying to get all the like the dead coat out I rinse her and then I said um, she was going in for a bath number two so I started bathing her again and I put on some of the de shedding this time um, and you know just started scrubbing her scrubbing her and, and like combing out all the bad hair or whatever uh, here I go again with the face again because her face was still looking a little dirty so I you know she, again she does this whole little thing chilling scrubbing her face whatnot let it sit for another five minutes she got curious about like a little like a uh, box that I had of brushes like on top of the bathtub she went up, sniffed it, dropped it, no big deal. Picked it up, put it back. That's it. She was literally just chilling. And yeah, now that I think about it, I shouldn't have never let her lick my face, right? And the whole time she's like this. Like that, I'm just looking around, moving her head like this, like that. Wagging her tail. And every time I would scrub her back in, like she would put it up and like kept moving her foot because she liked it or whatever. And then um, I rinsed her that's already two baths that i gave her and i already had her maybe working with her i'd say like 30 minutes or whatever 
you know by the time i like rinsed her brushed her like it's a whole process like i let the um soap sit but then after that i was still like brushing her and stuff like that so maybe like 30 minutes or so and after the second bath um i got a towel and i started you know drying her she loved the towel oh my god i think it's the funniest thing ever when the dogs love the towel because they start moving their head inside the towel and like everything like they start shaking their body they just love it so i'm sitting there and i'm i towel dry her with like three towels because you know huskies um their coat are very thick so they hold a lot of water in so I'm like literally like and she's shaking and she's going back into the towel and I start doing her back and she really likes it whatever so I, I towel dry her and mind you I had a scrubbed her from nose to tail to toes to everything everything and not once that she react I towel dried her everywhere and not once that she react not once that she growl not once that she show her teeth not once that she act like she was scared absolutely nothing everything good so far in my head i was like oh my god like okay i got the magic touch like this dog's not you know she's just chilling she's having a good experience okay the drying comes sees the dryer she kind of looks at it like what the heck after that didn't care about it she let me blow dry her she, she didn't try to bite she didn't try nothing she didn't like oh my god i'm freaking out like she didn't oh she didn't how nothing 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 like at first she was like oh, it was a dryer what the heck well why is you know why is there air coming out of that and then and then literally two minutes later she's like just sitting there and i'm literally blow drying her neck and she's like like that literally blow dried her whole entire head her whole neck area everything her whole sides the other side everything at this point i've already had her on there for like about an hour hour something uh huskies are, do not dry up in five minutes so i was there for a cool minute like drying her because they like again they hold a lot of water their fur is very thick and yeah it took me a while to dry her so at this point she's like maybe like 90 percent done and i'm like hunched over right and I've, I've already been hunched over for like maybe like 10 minutes blow drying her right and she's chilling right here she's doing this because i turn around and i see her she has her eyes closed right and i can feel the weight she's just chilling right there turns around licks my neck because i'm blow drying her licks my neck twice nothing goes back to doing what she was doing chilling never felt or heard her growl never nothing she never like looked like got off of me like nothing nothing and it wasn't like a like a, a, a i'm hovering over you it was literally like like you can see her whole body how how like relaxed it was okay and um i even thought at one point she was just gonna like lay down but she was like right here right and like i said she licked me twice whatever and i'm sitting there blow drying her and in my head i'm like okay i've already had her for like about an hour or something right i'm pretty sure she's probably like you know tired or whatever so i'm just gonna um brush her put a bandana on let her finish drying while i do another dog and then i'll finish her up no big deal right not not a big deal not a big problem she's been doing amazing and then i'm blow drying her and all this i'm talking to myself in the head because usually like when i'm grooming or whatever like i talk to myself like okay i need to do this this and that so yeah and I'm blow drying her right and then I get up to turn off the machine and as soon as I get up I get up to like about here and boom she attacks me I have no idea what made her um, take that decision to try to bite uh, I don't know if I missed something I don't know but uh, I do blame myself for getting too comfortable um with the dog if that was the case which i'm you know it seems like that is the case i did feel how she tugged and ripped my eyebrow and immediately that my eyebrow was hanging i started like putting like they grabbed a towel when i turned around because my face was instantly bleeding and um they put a towel over my face and after that um i went into a different room to try to relax after that i don't know what happened with the dog i don't know anything so immediately the owner they told me that the owner came immediately and that the owner felt really bad and that the owner said something like along the lines like oh my god i can't believe she reacted like that but she does only like me so in my head i'm like okay if you know your dog does not like other people and your dog only likes you why would you fail to notify 
the people that your dog that that are going to be dealing with your dog right a grooming shop we're grooming is all up in the dog's personal business right yes everyone is treated differently because some dogs do come in and we already know because the owners tell us hey she does bite hey she bites for nails hey she doesn't like getting her ears clean hey x x x y and z whatever so if you knew that piece of information why did you fail to communicate that with us like i don't understand that like as an owner you should be able to make sure you ensure your dog's safety as well as anyone else that's going to be dealing with your dog. Whether it's at a grooming shop, whether it's in public, whether it's at a vet, whether it's at a daycare. It does not matter. You should communicate everything that you know triggers your dog or, does, or that your dog does not like. Because you're afraid that they're going to say no to grooming. Like you don't know that. Like if you would have said that, if you would have said that piece of information, that would have made me take more extreme precautions right because she's new and because now i know that she does not like other people other than her owner i would not have been that close to that dog and regardless of the fact you should never be close to a dog like that um no matter what the circumstances are is and i did let myself get too comfortable but um and i do blame myself for that right but if she would have gave that piece of information then i would have been extremely cautious over that dog why because now i know if the dog only likes her i don't know how she's gonna react i can't get too comfortable with that dog whatever right so in my head i'm like you know it, it sucks that there's people out there that own dogs and don't notify people when they're taking them in for any kind of service or even out in public to know that you know hey this dog is gonna this dog might bite like there is a high chance that the dog might bite because it doesn't like anybody else so you know when i heard that it did make me upset because i'm like wow this maybe could have been different and at the same time i was like jessica you shouldn't have gotten that comfortable even if the dog was showing zero signs like you don't know that dog at the end of the day like you don't know it so i do blame myself as well and i hope that if anybody here owns a dog and you know that your dog is special please notify your dog if there's anything that triggers your dog or your dog doesn't like notify wherever you're taking your dog trust me it can save someone uh getting hurt getting bit and it can also make sure that your dog is 100 percent safe and can still enjoy any service that it's being offered to your dog and maybe even be more comfortable with people just by letting us know you know simple information like that so yeah guys unfortunately you know this happened to my face and mind you i've been working with dogs for over like over 15 years i want to say like way before i even got my first job out at the vet like i would always find dogs outside and find their homes in this i've always been so careful i've rescued so many dogs like all breeds akitas rottweilers <laughs> dobermans pit bulls i've rescued chihuahuas uh, poodles like you name it you literally name it i have rescued so many dogs um i've captured so many dogs from being like hit by cars and stuff like that you know i've worked with scared dogs aggressive dogs i've worked with all kinds of dogs i worked at an animal hospital for eight years i worked at a daycare for five years you know i was working for grooming for about a year and a half and not once that i ever come close to um this bad of an accident of an incident so you know it's there's always a lesson learned and now a lesson learned for me is that i'm never ever 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 going to get too comfortable with any dog at all it does not matter if it's like the most if it's on the world's record of well-behaved dog it does not matter it does not matter at the end of the day you never know how they're gonna react and this was a wake-up call for me i just thank god that you know she did not damage my eye she did not damage any like muscle areas and like she wasn't able to grab me enough to like do more damage to my face but yes guys with that being said if you guys have any comments or anything that you guys would like to say or if you guys have any similar things that have happened to you or any stories just comment them down below i can't wait to you know read your guys's comments and i'm excited to finally be getting my stitches out tomorrow and like i said it looks like it's healing um pretty nice as y'all can see it looks like i still have part of my black eye like y'all can see the the yellow and like kind of brown uh, tone but yeah you know you learn you live you learn i am taking a break from grooming uh, i'm not gonna lie to you guys i am pretty traumatized and it makes me sad because 
when I see a dog or anything like that, like I kind of get like scared. Like when I went back to go get the rest of my stuff, like as soon as I entered that room, like I was like my whole body instantly started shaking, and I was like my heart was beating, and I and I felt like I couldn't really like hear what what they were telling me like hey are you okay like i was just hearing the dogs barking and i just wanted to get out of there so um i am dealing with that and um like i said i am sad because i am an animal lover and i've never had any other job but working with animals so um, it really sucks but um i'm hoping that i can get you know can overcome this and maybe someday work with animals again but as of now i'm taking a pretty long break um from working with with animals and kind of work on myself and my mental and you know heal up so yeah i won't be back for grooming for a very long time um so yeah guys stay tuned on whatever else i do next but if you guys did enjoy this video please hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn your post notifications on so you do not miss another video and other than that it's been your girl jess and i'm out peace